guys, it's a Cam Clark here. Um, today I'm doing a video on the compactor steering with Earthworks. The other day I did a video showing uh, dozer steering and how easy it was. And I went along a toe of a slope and I used the, um, the lane shift button to um, move that lane over. Uh, today I'm going to show you the same functionality uh, in the compactor. Yeah, that's right, the compactor. I'm actually sitting in here now and um, I've gone through the same place as before when I did the dozer steering where I've, I've um, followed the, the toe of the slope and then I've done a lane offset. So okay guys, so in order to um, get the machine to steer to a line, you've first got to select a line. So go into um, horizontal offset um, and press and hold that button up here. Um, select a line, so over here you can see um, plan view map now this here that line there is actually the, the toe of the slope here so you can hit apply um, but in here as well you can see the past shift um, options here so this is where you can set the overlap um, that you want as a percentage or a distance if I change it to be say 20 or even say 40 percent um, for example you can see that the overlap is 0.8 of a meter um, but I'm going to go 10 um, with steering control you can actually reduce that to the minimum that you need um, and not account for any steering errors that an operator may have um, to, to precisely control to that alignment. Okay so we've selected the align, um, now I'm just going to go forward um, and click the auto button and the system here will just steer um, along that alignment um, for me. So exactly the same UI as that you see on the dozer, um, but now it's on the compactor. So it's a great tool, especially when you know that the, um, typically you get lesser experienced operators on the compactor. Um, and a lot of times contractors will compens compensate for um, that and increase their overlap tolerances and say I've even heard people running like 40% overlap um, whereas they want to say run at 10% but they don't because um, it's actually hard to um, steer precisely a compactor to an alignment so um, here with Earthworks the system will do it for you and then yeah I'm just going to go into reverse and the system will um, carry on and, and steer um, in reverse. You can see that there. Okay so for this demo I've done my four passes on both of those lanes there. I've just moved the machine over. Uh, you can see where um, that red line is where I was before. Um, since that alignment's going um, to forward we want to move to the um, the right so that's a positive direction so if we hit that you can see that it's moved that line over we're actually pretty good with alignment uh, and then all I need to do is go forward uh, and then put it into autos and the system will now steer to that alignment um, with that 10% overlap um, and I'll just cruise through here too easy guys Okay, so the same again, I've gone back, uh, I've moved over, I'm gonna um, offset my lane again, and um, go forward, put it under autos, and the system will just steer to that um, offsetted line to give myself that 10% overlap. And you can see here on the display where the blue, bluey line there um, is my original line that I'm guiding to. And then those dashed grey lines are the offsets. So I've gone three lanes there, and I'm on my fourth, which is one, two, three, and this is the fourth. Precisely controlling to that bottom of the toe of the slope. Yeah, so just going back, uh, you can see how I've precisely controlled onto that uh, next lane. Very nice curve there. Uh, just shows you that it's stick into the line and um, does it all for you. Just reversing back again, this is my second pass. 
Okay, I sent, I turned uh, mapping on here to show you the four passes and the, the fact that you can see the map of how where, where I've been steering. So you can see here I've moved over. I'm uh, mapping on the first time on this pass. You can see by the key you've got yellow, which is one, red is two, the tealy color is uh, three, and then green is four. Um, so yeah, I'm going through here and. Um, do my last lane. Okay, so here we're coming back. You can see it's turned that red, and uh, we're just following back. Okay, so we're on the third pass. And now coming back, you can see it's um, green because it's my fourth pass. Okay, so now um, I'll show you how to move back across. So you just basically hit the minus arrow um, and it will move that over. Um, and then just, yeah, go forward. Click it in auto. And um, it'll automatically steer me onto it. If I wanted to, I can vibe. I haven't been vibing in the videos. Um, just because um, it's a bit harder to talk <laughs> with the vibrations going, but yeah, you don't need to um, worry about vibration and steering, it's still part of it, right? It's a compactor. So I'm coming through here, um, picking up where I uh, hadn't done before, and you can see um, it's quite hard for me to select a line on the ground to actually follow, um, but I don't have to worry about that because I've got earthworks and I'm gonna steer to that it offset a line so it makes it very easy and precise for you to maintain your overlap spacings and stuff okay guys so yeah hope you hopefully you found that useful and uh, maybe this is a reason why you want to have Trimble Earthworks on your compactor um, to take advantage of this um, precise horizontal steering where you can really get in and control those overlaps and get down to the minimum of what you need and not account for um, the fact that it's hard to steer a compactor and um, a, lot of, a lot of the times that um, the lesser skilled or the newer guys on the compactor um, which, is, which causes a problem when you want to uh, maintain those overlaps and not miss anything having any slices in your um, compaction so yeah check it out guys uh, go and hit up your local SciTech and um, they'll tell you more about it but yeah compactor steering uh, and triple earthworks the same UI, same sort of value that you get, actually it's more value than you get, but you can also get the steering like I showed you before um, with the dozer. So take it easy guys, um, catch you later.